Hi guys, today we're going to be tackling the Dolphin Connect problem. This problem has to do with relative velocity and if you have any trouble with that, please continue watching. Okay, so a dolphin wants to swim directly back to its home bay, which is 0.8 kilometers due west. It can swim at a speed of 6.4 meters per second relative to the water, but a uniform water current flows with speed 2.83 meters per second in the southeast direction. The first portion of the question is asking, which direction should the dolphin head? So let's draw a diagram to make this easier. We know that the distance between the dolphin and its home is 800 meters west. There's also a velocity vector for water pointing southeast at 2.83 meters per second. So this is actually the velocity of the water relative to the shore, and the shore is the sidelines of the bay. So what this velocity vector is actually saying is that if there is a person on the sidelines of the bay looking at the water, in this person's perspective, they would see the water flowing 2.83 meters per second in the southeast direction. So this is the vector right here. We also know that the dolphin currently is on the east side, and he has a house directly 800 meters west of him on the opposite side of the river. So ultimately, we're going to draw a vector for the velocity of the dolphin going directly towards his house. And that's this vector right here. And this vector will be labeled the velocity of the dolphin relative to the shore. Because again, according to someone watching on the shore, like that person from before, he will see the dolphin traveling in a straight path towards his house. Now we must figure out which direction the dolphin must head. And the dolphin must head in the path that I just drew. The reason being is that the dolphin must travel in a slightly upwards direction in order to counteract the downwards movement the water will pull it in order to go directly west to get to its house. This velocity vector will be labeled the velocity of the dolphin relative to water and its magnitude is 6.4 meters per second. If you look closely at this diagram, you can actually develop a relationship between these three vectors, which is the velocity of the dolphin relative to water plus the velocity of the water relative to the shore is equal to the velocity of the dolphin relative to the shore. Does this look familiar to anyone? Well, it should. Our equation sheet states the velocity of A relative to C is equal to the velocity of A relative to B plus the velocity of B relative to C. We basically just replace this equation with our own variables, water, shore, and dolphin. Let's take a closer look at each of these vectors. So this is the velocity of the dolphin relative to the water, and this is going in a northwest direction at 6.4 meters per second. And of course, there's the x and y component. This is the velocity vector for the water relative to the shore at 2.83 meters per second. Um, this velocity vector is going southeast. And these two vectors added up gives you the final pink vector of the velocity of the dolphin relative to the shore. One thing to note is that the y component of the final velocity of the dolphin relative to the shore is actually zero because it's going completely horizontal. What does this mean? This means that the y components of the two vectors that add up to the final vector must cancel out. So, how do we figure out what the y component is? Well, we know that for the velocity of the water relative to the shore, the angle is 45 degrees because it's traveling in a southeast direction. So we can do sine 45 multiplied by the hypotenuse of 2.83 meters per second in order to figure out what the y component is, which is 2.0 meters per second. We know that this y component must be equal and opposite of the y component of the dolphin relative to the water in order for the y component to cancel out and the and for the dolphin to go completely horizontal. So the velocity of the dolphin relative to the water y component is 2 meters per second up north. Okay, now let's label this y component 2 meters per second north. And so we're still looking for this angle theta. So how do we solve it? This angle theta, sine theta, is going to equal to 2 meters per second over 6.4 meters per second. So if we just do inverse sine, we can figure out that theta is equal to 18.2 degrees north of west. Now let's move on to the second part of the question, which is how long will it take for the dolphin to get back to his house? For this question, we're going to be looking at the x components now. Starting again with the velocity of the dolphin relative to the water, we're looking at the x component now, which is headed west. And this plus the velocity of the water relative to the shore, which is heading east, is going to give you the net velocity of the dolphin, which is this pink vector right here. 
So we find the velocity of the dolphin relative to the water x component by using the cosine of 18.2, which is the angle that we just found in the previous problem, and we multiply that by the hypotenuse of 6.4. And we have to take note that this is going in the west direction. The x component of the velocity of the water relative to the shore can be found by multiplying cosine 45 by the hypotenuse, which is 2.83 meters per second. And we also have to take note that this is going in the east direction. These two vectors added up gives us their net velocity vector, which is the velocity of the dolphin relative to the shore. And that value is 4.08 meters per second west. Finally, we know that velocity is equal to displacement over time. In this case, we can find time by setting 4.08 meters per second equal to 800 meters divided by time. So time by basic algebra is going to equal to 800 divided by 4.08 meters per second. And that gives us 196.07 seconds. That, if we divide it by 60 seconds per minute, gives us 3.27 minutes as our final answer. I hope you all found this video to be helpful. If you have any more questions, please feel free to come into the Learning Center and ask any TAs any of your questions. Thank you for watching.